Welcome to all basketball fans, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Debrecen Hola Gabor Arena. You are watching the Youth Basketball Champions League game day one here in Debrecen, Hungary. The second game of today, of the opening day, will be between Ludwigsburg from Germany and BK Opava from the Czech Republic. Another Czech team has won easily the first game of the day. Nimburg has beaten Ajax Athens. And you can see the schedule for today. Porsche BBA Ludwigsburg against Opava in a couple of minutes. And then later C and D, Group C and D. And Group A, of course, Group A will be uh, held two games. So Galatasaray, Oldenburg, Ritas, Vilnius, Debrecen, Team Debrecen, and Tenerife Promitas are the games for today, for this opening day. So Ludwigsburg from Germany participated the Youth Basketball Champions League one year ago, the first edition of this tournament, and they finished sixth place. So they have some experience in the tournament. But of course, it's a new team, it's a new year, and it's a new edition of YBCL. On the other side, BK Opava didn't participate in the tournament, so they are new to this one. It's a great possibility for all clubs to take part in such a high-quality tournament, facing some of the best teams in Europe, under 18 teams, of course. These academies see where they are comparing to other countries, other nations, best academies. This is the aim of YBCL. And we are ready to introduce the players for this Ludwigsburg Opava game. Slav Baris, number nine, Nikolas Todoru, number ten, Jan Prešaktel, number eleven, František Harazin, number thirteen, Karel Včelka, fourteen, David Motička, number seventeen, Vojček Kasparek, with number fifty-five, Pavel Kastil, and number seventy-seven, Tomas Durčok. They are the members of BK Opava. Side for Ludwigsburg, number one, Frederick Bergerard, number two, Dominic Mack, number three, Travis Davis, number four, Musa Abra, number six, Sebastian Kuhn, with number eight, Victor Ludwigsson, with number nine, Armin Pivac, with number 12, Tim Schnelle, number 19, number 24, excuse me, Stanislav Hinkov, number 32, Danny, Danny Hinkov. These are the Ludwigsburg players.
Gari and Ayan Yamshidi from Iran will be officiating today. The senior team of Ludwigsburg played six of eight seasons and reaching the final four on two occasions in senior champions league and uh, they have a team in the senior third division in germany and uh, travis davis stanislav hinkov Baumer are the members of the senior second team as well, so they have a lot of experience in adults basketball. Third member of the group, by the way, is Tofas Bursa, last year's bronze medal winner. So it won't be easy to qualify for the semi finals from this group as well. For these teams, these two teams, it's a strong group. We will see by Thursday which team can reach the semi-finals at the end of the group phase so the opening tip-off is coming the ball is Ludwigsburgs and Travis Davis with the first pull-up jumper off the rim and out yes it was out Ludwigson tried to save it, but he was not able to. Chudak stolen away. And the first basket for Stanislav Hinkov. After 
after Travis Davis got the steal. This time Pivac with the rebound. It's a better start for Ludwigsburg in the first minute. Hinkov for three. Bang! Hinkov. Stanislav Hinkov starts with five points in the opening minute of this game. Red hot start for Ludwigsburg. Kenopava answer on the other side. Tried to draw a foul, but didn't get it. Three, three points are again! Stanislav Hinkov. He's going crazy in the first one and a half minutes. 8 0, and he's got all the points. Trying to answer back, and it does. Frantisek Harazin, 8 3. Some firepower to start his game. Very entertaining. Hinkov. Not that time. First miss. Four shots. He had to try it, no question. Chudak. And the putback. It was Pavel Kastil. Quality offenses, even though it was a Last ball by Abra. No transition offense as the ball was not cleanly. Prechectas and it will be a jump ball. Regarding to the possession arrow, it will be Ludwigsburg's ball and the quick substitution. Of the floor is Tim Schneller. Spinning, turning, and trying to find any possible way to the basket was Pavel Kastil, but he was unsuccessful. Great team effort on defense by Ludwigsburg. So they have the ball. And they have a three-point lead after after Stanislav Hinkov's strong start. He has the ball right now. Hinkov, it's a bad try to make a good pass. But the team has got back the ball. Travis Davis. Very talented point guard, Travis Davis. The ball is out of bounds. And it was off no power play player. To me, it looked like Ludwigson touched it last, but I was wrong. Abra doesn't try the three pointer. Instead, Travis Davis at the ball. Now from the corner, Abra. Buzzer beater shot from Abra. Well, Ludwigsburg starting strong with three trays to start a game. Less than four minutes of playing time. Arazin, could he answer? No. The ball is out of bounds. Motichka tried to get the rebound, but it touched the backboard, so. Ludwigsburg. Can extend the lead. Davis. Another try by Hinkov, another three pointer try, but it's off the mark. The rim again. So Hinkov is starting to cool off a little bit. Bad hook shot, but. Chudak can go through the, to the three free throw line after being fouled. Ball. 
Musa Abra committed the foul. Shudak gets in the first. And gets clean with the second. Shudak has got two points with these two free throws. Davis, Abra. Abra is fouled. So after his personal foul, now he's fouled and he can go to the free throw line. He tried to get in the ball to the basket after fouled, but couldn't. So two free throws are coming from Musabra. Abra for the second time. It's off and passes by Motichka, who couldn't pass the ball forward, but now Harazin helps him. Chudak calls for it. Chudak slows a little bit. Davis is chasing him. Chudak step back and uh, shot of the rim. It's live ball. Another of the law. Rim and this putback isn't successful as well. How many shots in this attack? It's all Opava under the basket this time. Of course, the basket is does not count. It's Musa Abra's second foul, so he leaves the floor. It opens the possibility to Sebastian Kuhn to check in. Rechekta with the ball with number 10, Opava. Minkov is on him. Through traffic, nice floater. David Motichka. Three point game. Davis. Davis for three. No good. Rebound Motichka. Chudak with the ball. He has to cross the line before the eight-second violation. He did. Chudak. He's not fouled and the goal goes off him, so out of bounds, Ludwigsburg ball. Timeout is called. Oh no, excuse me, just substitutions. It's a 12 to 9 game. And the leading Ludwigsburg team can carry the ball. Stan Hinkov. Mack. Corner three. Rebound. Prachachtel. Chudak. Deck. Leaves Kuhn behind, step back, beautiful. But the finish is not good. Shudak commits the foul to stop the breakaway. The other Hinkov brother, Daniel, was fouled. They are together on the floor with Stanislav. Now Stanislav Hinkov with the ball. Stolen away by Barczak. And the finish. Barczak does it. Nice play from defense to offense. And another steal. And another finish. An easy points. Four. A 
And that's an Opava lead for the first time tonight. Today, but sorry. Kuhn. Stanislav Hinkov. Hinkov, pull-up jumper from mid-range. At that time, Harazin with the rebound. Harazin. No, the putback also no. Mack with the rebound. Daniel Hinkov. Finds Mack under the basket, but Mack misses. Boris stepped out of bounds, then stepped on the baseline, uh, on the sideline. So Mack with good defensive play. Got the ball back. He was all over his opponent. And Václav Varish couldn't keep his feet in. Kastil is off, Durchok entering the floor, the court, so substitution for Mikhail Opava. It looked like rejection for Barchak, but Davis was fouled, so two free throws are coming. Schachtel arriving with number 10 for Opava with this free throw. Davis made it a tie game and he has the chance to get the lead for his team again. Yes, he did. Barczak against Davis. Full court press by Travis Davis. Another turnover, Daniel Hinkov to Davis. Davis, another three off the rim. Cut back by Hinkov, Daniel Hinkov. A penetration misses again, and the foul against Ludwigsson. It's called on. Tomasz Durczok. 14 fouls for Opawa, so they are in danger of bonus. Davis. He missed two three two three pointers in a row. And the dish to Ludwigson. But he also couldn't find the net. Duchok. Tichka tried that one, but he also misses. Davis pass is deflected and stolen by the Czechs. Varish. Otichka. After him again. Rebound. Ludwigsson. Foul against him. And it was Durczak again. And of course, Ludwigsson comes to this side of the floor to make the free throws. 14 to 13 on the scoreboard after a very strong start and both teams offensively they really cooled off and all in all it's low scoring first quarter and it remains because Ludwigson missed the first free throw And misses the second one as well. Duchok. Grab the rebound. Chudek. 
against Davis. Ruchok helps. A pick and roll. Oh. Chudak wanted to finish by himself. Ruchok would be the play. In an ideal world for Opava, but Chudak was blocked. Luck for him, they got the ball back. And a foul. Pivat committed it. Nadurchuk is on the line. He can tie the game. But he doesn't. Maybe the coast to coast offense caused some stamina problems for the guys because they really have some shooting troubles. In the last minutes, Turchok misses again. Mack, easy finish at the slam. Dominic Mack, great play. Thirteen seconds on a shot clock, fifteen on the clock, so Opava doesn't need to hurry. But Chudak tried to score. And a luck by Chudak. No, it was not Chudak. Excuse me. It was Varish. And uh, the rejection against Davis ends the first quarter. Here is the last sequence. There was some contact, but Davis was looking for it. So I think it's a good call. That ends the first quarter. 16 to 13 for Ludwigsburg. Very intense first minutes, but then some lapses offensively for the teams. Here we go. 4 for 17 for the two points for Opava. Not much better on the other side for Ludwigsburg. Nine turnovers combined. And the top scorers for both teams, Stanislav Hinkov with eight points. All of this scored in the first two minutes. Motichka's five rebounds. It's also respectable. The greatest moments of the first quarter can be watched again. Stanislav Hinkov start. An easy finish first, and then two quick triples. Arazin with the answer. Put back by Castillo. Chudex. Individual play. Put back by Castillo again. So we are here starting the second quarter with a three point difference in favor of Ludwigsburg. Are slowly coming. But right now, everybody is ready. Travis Davis controls the ball. Varish tries to get him uncomfortable. Abra against Chudak. Davis with a shooting fake and then. Is the shot. Ludwigsson got it back. 
And after a kickball, it's Ludwigsburg possession. Davis. Hinkov under the basket. Beautifully done in traffic. Hinkov starts the second quarter as good as he did the first. Shudak between two defenders. He was fouled. Is it Abra? Yes, Musa Abra is third personal foul. And he stays on the floor. His coach trusts him not to get fouled again. Davis, great pass. Oh, the block! Sensational by Kastil. Kastil on the other side. No look pass. Poor shot. Kastil, the rebound. Kastil fouled. What a momentum for Pavel, Pavel Kastil. <laughs> He's the rejection. And then a nice dish. Got back the ball. Fighting with heart and soul. And his award is two shots from the free throw line. Kastel, this is the first one. The second one is good. So it's fifty percent free throw shooting, three for six from Opava. Hinkov, Stanislav Hinkov. Pass to his brother Daniel. Off the rim, so the checks coming back. Kastil. Kastil spinning and finishing. Inkov. Daniel Inkov again. The, the result is the same as in the previous possession. A missed three. Varish. The three point try on the other side. Uh, should have the rebound and one. Pavel Chudak is one of the smallest guy on the floor and Absolutely not the strongest one, but he got the rebound and then the finish from the putback. And he can make it a three point play, and with this, his team can take the lead. And yes. Davis on the other side. All along, blocked again, but the possession goes back to the Ludwigsburg team. The penetrations of Davis don't really work. He was blocked several times. Kinko. Kinko. Oh. In and out of the rim. But the rebound goes to Davis. Who misses again. Long pass. And <laughs> the Chudak again with the offensive rebound, but this time he couldn't benefit from this one. Another miss. Some chaotic moments on the floor right now. A mismatch, Davis is in the low post, but the ball couldn't be handled by, by Castile. Yes. 
substitutions for Opawa. Stanislav Hinkov and lose the ball and got back from Davis. Hinkov. Davis tries again. It's good. Travis Davis for three. Kastil looking for help. And the ball is taken away by Hinkov. Dominic Makis fouled by Motichka. Subs for Opava again. Coming on the floor is Wojciech Kraval for the first time today. Hinkov. I mean Daniel Hinkov. Three-pointer try, too strong. Rebound Motichka. Harazin controls the ball. Harazin one on one against Stanislav Hinkov. Harazin, five seconds on the shot clock. Harazin, he has to shoot, he does, but misses. Offensive board. Chudak pulls up. No good. Davis, he can run. And Mark with the finish again! Kraval to Motichka after the dunk by Dominic Mack. And Opawa ball. That is going out of Tim Schneller. Here's the pass from Davis and the finish by Mack. Beautiful. Time out, Opawa. David Zach says it's enough. BBA Ludwigsburg has a four point lead. Motichka has, nine, uh, has eight rebounds. This is outstanding performance. On the other side, most terrific. Rebounder is Ludwig Son. Seven for 30 from the field for Opava. Turchok has two fouls. The blue jersey. And Musabra has foul trouble on the other side with three personal fouls. It's not easy to select the best moments greatest three plays of the first half because we have a lot to show on the replays right now the ball is live and <laughs> blocked by Mark it's on the other end he lost the handle Chudak Razin. Ludwigsson with the steal. Daniel Inkov against Chudak. Easy finish for Inkov against Chudak. He has the mismatch. And he finishes. Kastil tries to help to Chudak for Chudak. Harazin with the three. Ludwigsson with the rebound, Daniel Inkov. 
transition shot. It would have been a two-pointer. Daniel Inkov didn't watch the three-point line. But his coach is not happy because of his decision. Ludwigsburg has the six-point lead. Arazin dribbles. And try to finish while in traffic. Unsuccessful. Davis. Davis shows the screen to Ludwigsson. Finds his teammate, but this wasn't plan A, I'm for sure. Davis. Another individual play. This time he draws the foul. And while it was the shooting motion, it will be two free throws for Travis Davis. High basketball IQ and real quickness for Travis Davis. Great profile, profile he can offer for his team and this time perfect from the line. Chudak. Whistle blows. Because Clock. We will start some some problems with the clock, but we are okay right now. Nice steal by Davis. Davis, the pass. It was a perfect pass. Kuhn couldn't catch it. Dulcuk can. Take the inbound. Long pass. Harazin has it. Harazin with Davis behind him. Harazin, the floater, misses. Rebound. Rebound to nobody because the ball was out of bounds. Both teams substitute. Daniel Hinkov takes a rest and back on the court is Tim Schnelle. Oh, that's too long from behind the arc. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Nice play and the rebound after bad finish. Almost another turnover. Hinkov. Short. Back to Ludwigsburg. Davis. Rebound of Pava. Chudak. Between two defenders. Chudak! Great play! And he brings his team six points, 27 to 21. Davis dished to his teammate, but the finish was not enough accurate. Harazin. Durchok watches. Harazin. Chudak. Chudak. Again. He's fouled. Chudak is usually looking for the holes, trying to get inside. He had some unsuccess unsuccessful tries, but this time 
shoot two from the free throw line. But he misses the first one. Chudak's got seven, as well as Pavel Kastil. Chudak is the leading scorer for Opava. Stanislav Inkov. Daniel Inkov back to his brother. Stanislav. He finds Schnelle. And Schneller traveled. Yes, he knows. Another turnover for Ludwigsburg. There are a lot of turnovers on both sides. Chudak. Some contact, but he is able to make a dish to Motichka. Stanislav Inkov, arrest by Harazin. Dominic Mack, Stanislav Inkov. Over Harazin. But in! Oh, Stanislav Inkov with a hand in his face. Chudak. Daniel Hinkov in front of him. Motichka's shot. Was not so good. Stanislav Hinkov. Against Harazin again. Daniel Hinkov. Almost lost it. Stanislav. Five seconds. Daniel Hinkov. the rim again and Opava controls the rebound. Barczak tries to get by Mack, but Mack does it again very well. Coach Lee calls the time. Hinkov tries to pass the inbound. He finds Davis. Davis is fouled. Barczak committed. Opava has fouls to give. They have three. Maybe a good one by Barczak this time. Davis pulls up and the jumper. Travis Davis, two more points for him. Chudak. Chudak. 
Last to handle. Ludwigsburg ball. Fourteen point five seconds left from the first half. Timeout by Ludwigsburg again. Probably the last possession of the first half. That's why that coach called his time out. One more chance to make this game double digits, as it is 32 to 24. And if Ludwigsburg will play smart, then Opava will not have a chance to answer back. And in this case, they would remain on 24 points in the first half. So, from the round court, Musa Abra passes the ball to Travis Davis. Abra. And Yelinkov didn't look at the basket. Absolutely looking for the last chance, which is Davis's shot, but misses. So it's an eight point game in the first half after 20 minutes. Travis Davis's last shot was way too short. So after the timeout, Ludwigsburg couldn't convert. Interesting game. Started very strong offensively, but then both teams
Less than a minute left from the half time. We can see the focusing Ludwigsburg players and uh, focusing Obama players from behind. They really need to shoot better in the second half. This 24 points will not be enough to make it a strong game. Our first game in this tournament uh, ended with a blowout win by Nimburg, the other Czech team. Maybe it will be not so one-sided. BBA has the slight lead, but this eight points can be equalized in a short amount of time. So we hope that they will have exciting minutes, exciting 20 minutes from now. Opava has the first possession in the second half. And Harazin Wins the ball. Kachakta. And nice finish on the low post. Pavel Kastil again. The leading scorer right now. Chudak has got eight. And now Kastil has nine. Too strong on the floater by Davis. Stanislav Hinkov. Hinkov. Running jumper. Doesn't count as an offensive foul is called. Chudak gets the help from Projectile. Projectile has to save it. Still some 10 seconds. Projectile attacks the basket. At that time, Hinkov, the rebound. Abra. Abra running, looking for the opportunity to attack the basket. Didn't find it. Davis. Great spinning move by Viktor Ludwigsson. Causing a collision, and he can go to the free throw line. Ludwigson has no points as he as he missed. Three field goals and now four free throw attempts. Not a good day for him. At least offensively. Oh, Davis with the steal. And the fast break. Oh, rejection by Motichka. There it is again. Motichka uses his physical ability to knock the shot down. Harazin against Abra. Don't forget, Abra has foul troubles. It's three. The tray doesn't good. Doesn't good. And Davis on the other side. Stanislav Hinkov. Davis saves it. 12 seconds, Stanislav Hinkov. 
I mean, five seconds from the shot clock. On the shot clock, it's now six. Davis, Daniel Hinkov. Way too short. Rebound. Rebound of Paula. Harazin. Harazin. Stanislav Hinkov falls him. Harazin made it. Nice stop. And the contact. Clearly a foul. Harazin connects for the first time on the line. And he can bring him his team back in four points, which he does. 32-28. Still no Ludwigsburg points in the third quarter. Travis Davis after him. Rebound of Pala. Chudak. Kastil. Chudak. Oh, Davis with the steal, and Davis can finish. But Chudak fouls him. Making him earn those two points. With the steal, and then... No easy basket, says Chudak. And the first point for BBA in the second half. Comes after three minutes of playing time. It's Travis Davis from the free throw line. He misses the second, but Daniel Hinkov gets it back. Ludwigsson. Oh! Harazin says no this time. But Davis gets the steal again. Davis. Stanislav Hinkov. No, Ludwigsson, another rebound. Stolen away. Chudak. And there's an offensive pass, so. A lot of happening on both sides of the floor. Finally, Ludwigsburg has the ball and the five-point lead in the game. Travis Davis. Ludwigsson back to Davis. Back. Almost wasn't ready for the pass from Davis. But you always have to be ready if the ball is in Davis' hands. Davis misses again. Davis doesn't shoot well tonight, today. Mack. Mack. Too strong. Matryczka, good play to keep the ball in his hands. Mack very aggressively. And Motichka. Ludwigsson helps his teammate. The three drops in. And a quick response with Stanislav Hinkov's two-pointer. Four-point game. I wanted some excitement. I've got it. Nice play, but the miss. Put back. Is no. Can't at all because Danny Hinkov fouled Motichka. Yes, Motichka asks the referees. He will shoot the free throws. And the ref say yes. Wojciech Kasparek, who did not play in the first half, now on the court. Good number 17.
Motička. Has problems from the free throw line. Oh for two this time. Abra. Stanislav Inkov. Lon. Another block. Kasparek said hello to Stanislav Inkov. Another rebound for the attacking Ludwigsburg. And then the foul ends with this crazy sequence. It was Harazin collecting his second personal foul. Stanislav Hinkov is being replaced by his brother. And Stanislav Hinkov gets some advices from his coach. So Abra with the inbound. Daniel Hinkov. Abra. Pull up jumper. Too short. Harazin. Harazin against Mack. And the big man <laughs> found some strength under the basket. It was Ludwigsson who blocked the shot and Daniel Hinkov on the other side. It's off again. Abra. Looking for the contact. Didn't get it. Prachachtel. Was not enough brave to shoot this one from the three-point area. This time he did, but missed. Abra. Mack for three. No good. Oh, the ball knocked out from Varish's hand. Another turnover by Opava. Great defensive effort. Ludwigsson. And the same on the other side. Even though this ball is out of bounds, so Ludwigsburg can keep the possession. Back on the floor is Travis Davis with Sebastian Kuhn. And also checking in is Tomasz Durczok on the other side. Kuhn. Davis. Back. Back to Davis. Four seconds on the shot clock. Davis. Dish out. Too short on the three pointer. But Davis gets it back. And collision with Mack. Everybody is all right. Nice steal by Davis. This ball is out. Ludwigson and Ludwigson and Mack did not understand each other. We are three minutes without a single basket. If you love defensive basketball, it's your game. But uh, with less than three minutes from the three quarter, this 35 to 31 score is very, very low. Mack reaches in. It's the first personal for Mack. And 
Kasparek do the fall and he leaves the floor right now. Taudoru is back. Varish finds Harazin in the corner. No good. Rebound goes to Varish. So it's an offensive board again. Harazin again. This time it's good. Falls in with some kind of luck. But Harazin works for that luck. Davis, long three pointer. He misses again. Barish. He was looking for Kuhn, who arrived from the back. Barish. Chaudoru. Chaudoru between two defenders. Mark blocks him. Hinkov, Daniel Hinkov. Great deek. The play with Stanislav and they lost the ball. Daniel made it. Simple, but then Stanislav wanted to get it back to his brother. Kuhn after the turnover. Davis. Uh, sorry, Mac Mac did the missed three. Harazin was not fouled. As well as Davis. Stanislav Hinkov. And the dish, and the miss, the rebound to Opava. Another Stanislav and Daniel Hinkov. The variation did not work. And this time it's Kuhn, who couldn't finish. The offensive struggle continues for both teams. Tough to say anything as a coach. I believe BBA has three. Once again, three points in the third quarter. Of course, there are still 45 seconds. So they will have another possession to collect points to this one. But first, Opava will shoot two free throws. Tomasz Durczok has the opportunity to make it a tie game. First is good, which is really, really needed to, for Durczok because he had prob problems with free throw shooting in the first half. Pavel Chudak. After getting some fresh air, he misses the second one. And fighting for it was Durchok. And the teamwork didn't cash in. Daniel Inkov frees the ball out from the traffic. Mack. Inkov. Mack alone. Nicely done. He couldn't convert. And the penetration, but draws the foul. Jan Prachektel. Got his second personal foul. And Mack. Makes the first free throw. as well as the second one, so five points in this quarter for Ludwigsburg. Offensive fall. Borish committed against Kuhn. I'm not sure about that one, but take a look at... Oh yes, yes, it was Borish. He pushed his shoulder to her opponent's chest. 
My bad, I'm sorry for the refs. Eleven seconds left from the third quarter. Four on the shot clock. Davis had to shoot. He did it. Rebound, Opava, but they are out of time. This shot doesn't count, and it's way too short nonetheless. So, we have one more short break before the last 10 minutes. It's a close one. 37 to 34. Ludwigsburg has a three-point lead. I would say three-point difference is nothing in basketball because it's a one possession, but for this game, three points are almost the 33, uh, excuse me, the 10% of the scored points so far, so. I think that the third quarter ended with a 10 to 5 score. I'm not sure if this three point differential is so easily can be polished. But of course, on the other side, it's one good triple or one. Good end one play and uh, the momentum goes on the other side. Well, we have some statistics on the screen. Pavel Chudak and František Harazin trying to dig out the team out of his hole, but they are. 5 for 28 from the field. Of course, combined, so they just have to do the job better. And only 8 for 15 free throws for Opava. Even though it's not much better on the other side, it for 14 for Ludwigsburg. So simply both teams have serious challenges in scoring. I would say let's praise the defenses, but the free throws are not defended, so it looks like a focusing thing, mental thing like this turnover by Abra. Karstil, oh, Hinkov beautifully got him behind himself, but stepped out of line, uh, out of bounds. So despite the nice steal, it's also a turnover statistically for Stanislav Hinkov. Chudak gets the ball. Trying to. Getting better. Shooting. He didn't, but his body, number 55. Pavel Kashtil did. So, Travis Davis is in trouble. And uh, jumbles. So, Opava can take the lead after a very, very long time. One point Ludwigsburg, Ludwigsburg lead. And Opawa has the ball. Great play. Wonderfully done by Pechakta. Nice assist by Chudak, don't forget. Stanislav Hinkov. 
Ja, bra. Hard screen. And cool blocked. And the ball is Opavaz. Wow, they got the momentum in the first one and a half minutes in the, in the fourth quarter. Scoring from two positions as well and still defending very well the round basket. And a nice dish again, but this time it's a block on the other side. Abra can run, wants to run, but he has to turn back and ask for help from Mack. Kuhn. Kuhn to Ludwigsson. Ludwigsson's first points on the game. After five misses. Off the rim, offensive board, and a foul from behind. Kastil can go to the line. Substitutions, Stanislav Hinkov will sit down. I don't think for a long time. You want to have your best player on the floor in the crucial moments and with eight minutes left from this game every possession is getting more crucial and crucial it's a tie game right now this time Kastel is perfect from the line so Opawa has the lead once again Ludwigsson back to Abra Abra. Abra alone. Fighting for his own rebound. Didn't grab it, but his teammate did. Mack. Mack is fouled. He tried to go hard and get the dunk, or at least this layup, but. He was hardly, hardly followed by Pavel Kastil, so two shots from the line for Dominic Mack. Travis Davis is already sitting on the bench, uh, not on the bench, because he will check in. And Mack misses both. Projecta sends Kastil to the corner, but Varish wasn't able to draw a foul. Neither getting a basket on the other side. Mack does it, so it's a BBA lead again. Nice play on the other side. Motichka is not so efficient. He had 10 attempts and only two field goals after three quarters, but he starts well in this period. Mack. Really wanted to pass to Pivac, but number nine wasn't ready for this. Chudak. Motichka. Close shot, yes! David Motichka once again, and the timeout is called by Ludwigsburg. Three point BK Opava lead. And 
and somehow out of nowhere Opava has found the shooting rhythm. Inkov and Davis from Ludwigsburg are double digits points. They are 14 for 60. Still very low shot percentage. And it is not a outstanding one. I mean the shooting percentage on the other side, but the last couple of minutes, Opava could move from the tie or head to head situations and take the three point lead. With two baskets in a short time. Both was the captain, David Motitska. Individual effort. So there is the company for Opava. The ball is in uh, Ludwigson's hands. Travis Davis passes him back. And Ludwigson, the big man. And the ball. Oh, and Ludwigson saves it. Nicely done. Davis. Fake the shot. Air ball. Davis is ice cold. Chudak. Chudak. Almost lost it. Three pointer. No. Motichka fights for re the rebound. Mack has the winner of this contest. Mack. And the other way. Davis tries again. Not that time. Again. And. Chudak. Oh! Hard foul. Of course, it. Wasn't international, but it hurts. Chudak was followed by Travis Davis. Is the fast break. Davis tried to block, but Chudak was patient. And Davis fouled him. Fouled on him. And an unsportsmanlike, said the referees. So an additional foul. Additional free throw, excuse me, for Chudak. And Travis Davis is off the floor. Chudak's got the first one for the unsportsmanlike conduct. Second one is not good by Chudak. The possession, of course, because of the unsportsmanlike foul, belongs to Opava. So they still have the chance to increase the lead. But Chudak lost it. Abra. Dish out. No, of course, no. But Stanislav Hinkov gets it back from Ludwigsson. Nice teamwork under the basket for the two big men. Motichka raises up and puts it in. David Motichka, everything's falling for him in the fourth quarter. Great performance, great leader. Mack, five point game. Abra. The response? No good. Would have been a three pointer, but. Off the rim and out. And offensive call. Chudak. Made 
made a mistake. Chudak is arguing with the referees. Hard to tell, but the ref side has a foul. But Ludwigsburg cannot score from this possession. Motichka, he chooses to slow down. This time Motichka again for the three. Offensive rebound for Kashtil. Oh, the putback is blocked. Harazin for three, short. But another offensive rebound for Opava. Motichka, blocked but fouled. Second half is a disaster offensively for Ludwigsburg. Nine points through 16 and a half minutes. Motichka misses the first one. Motichka now with again, free throw, and the ball is Ludwigsburg's. Prechaktel really wanted to get this ball back, but it's off him, yeah. The refs take a look at that. But they, they will see, they will watch what we saw and I think it's no question that it went off Prachaktal. Not 100% sure. After watching it from several angles, the call is Opava's ball. So they reverse the call, and the Czechs can keep the ball. Fourteen seconds on a shot clock. Arazin shoots immediately and gets his own rebound back. Pivats finally can have it for Ludwigsburg. Abra against Motichka. Hinkov. Pivats. Pivats. Hook shot. Yes, it pimbles in. Motichka. Francis' teammate, Kashtil. Harazin again. It's good! Frantisak Harazin. He can't take his confidence away after a lot of misses. Frantusha Karazin. Pulls up another three-pointer. Like it was his first of the game. And this time it falls. Six-point Opava lead. Can he answer back? No, Stanislav Hinkov misses the three. But his brother Daniel puts it back. 
Otička. Otička needs some help. Harazin gives him. But Harazin needs to hurry up. Harazin. Steal him. Fault. Two shots. This was a smart play by Harazin, knowing that Ludwigsburg has three, pay three players behind him. And he can attack the basket. So Harazin can get the two free throws. First one is short. Harazin, second is good. So it's 52 to 47. We're starting the last two seconds of regulation time with a five point of power lead. Stanislav Hinkov puts it up. Not that time. And Motichka with a long pass. Motichka finishes! Timeout Ludwigsburg. Motichka delivers in the fourth quarter. Wonderful outlet pass. And then the cold blooded finish by, by Vladimir Motitska. Here are the game leaders for Ludwigsburg. Still Stanif Stanislav Hinkov is the most efficient player for the Germans. David Motichka had four points after 30 minutes. Right now, he has 13. And he had 2 for 10 shooting from the field in the first three quarters. 4 for 6 here in the fourth clutch player and seven point lead for his team almost a bad inbound abra try to go from behind the arc too strong chudak chudak turns it over and the finish by Ab uh, travis davis is good the double team or triple team on Shudek lead it led to this easy basket. So it's a five point game with one minute and ten seconds. Another block, Stanislav Hinkov. Daniel Hinkov finds Abra and Abra is blocked. Motichka on the defensive side. Chudek. Almost lost it. But then the easy basket. No! The second chance misses it as well, but Opava gets it back. What's going on <laughs> on the floor? Five point Opava lead. Davis commits the foul. Chudak is not liking the refs. 
And it falls far. Six point lead after Pavel Chudak's free throw. Nothing but that for a second. Seven points, Opava lead. Thirty two point four seconds left from this game, unless it goes to overtime. But this time, it looks like Opava could make a sensational comeback. It's not the best basketball game I've ever seen, ever seen, but there are a lot of excitement. There are a lot of small details that you can, that you can like, and uh, these guys are really fighting. You can see Vladimir Motichka, Tarazin's triple. I can't blame for. And I think Ludwigsburg, because they have shown great defensive effort throughout the game. And both teams deserve the loss, but only one could win. So, last half of a minute starts right now. Arazin falls, Stanislav Hinkov. Opava has three team fouls. Ludwigsburg needs a triple. Mock delivers! Four point game. And they call a foul. Varish thought he could go away. The refs with the whistle, and two free throws are coming. Question is, is there any more turnaround in the game? One more turnaround. After BK Opava comeback, can the Germans make the wrong comeback? First free throw missed. Second is good. Let's not Farish. Has won a point in the game. This one is first and only point. Stanislav Hinkov, Travis Davis. Ludwig, Ludwigsburg still needs a quick basket. Mack again for three. Yes! Dominic Mack! Two point game! That's how you handle pressure. Two clutch three pointers for Dominic Mack in the last minute. After the intentional foul, Pavel Chudek will go to the line. If he misses, it's a one possession game. First is good. Misses. Who's the rebound? Oh, it's the Germans. 
Ludvigsson with the rebound. They need a three to tie, but they lost the ball. Mark with the foul. What a way to finish this game. But it's still not over. It's still a must score. Oh my. Barish misses the first. Didn't touch even the rim. Second is too strong for Varish. But they have the possession. 4.4 seconds. Inbound is good. And that's it. Haras wins the game for Obata. Off the backboard. Point win for Obama. What a game! Wow, that was exciting. Oh. Ludwigsburg had the eight point lead in the first half. The First 20 minutes was all about them. And then in the second half, Opava has just come alive and could make a remarkable comeback. And that's what you can see on their faces. Very, very tough game for both teams. But the mental advantage of this win is BK Opavas. Not a lot of time to celebrate because Opava will face Tofas Bursa tomorrow at half past 1 p.m. So, less than 24 hours, they will meet another very strong opponent. And for Ludwigsburg, they have one day to think, an off day tomorrow, and they will See what they can do against Tofas Bursa on Thursday. If Tofas beats Opava, which is a wish of Ludwigsburg, of course, the third game day will be very, very interesting. But don't rush. For now, thank you for your attention. We are coming back. A little more than a half minute, uh, half an hour for our next game, but uh, for now that's it for the last time. The final score: Ludwigsburg 55, BK Opava 60.